Hello everybody, this is Frozy, and today I will continue the gameplay of the first season for the Barnet in the Championship Manager 93-94. This is episode number 5, so let's take a look at our position. It's absolutely fine, we are 15 points <clears throat> away from the second place, which is Torquay. Turkey, Turkey. So, 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 mm, we have no problems with that. Colchester has the perfect defense, by the way. Only six goals mm, receive it in 12 away games. Let's take a look at their goalkeeper. Mm -hmm -hmm. What about the defense? Okay, heading, tackling, influence, stamina, passing pace. Looks like an incredible guy. <clears throat> okay. Flowers. Uh huh. Another youngster who has low ratings, but we have seen his performance. If the team has managed to <clears throat> miss such low amount of, goal, of goals, then this defender surely... Let's... Oh, no. Let's shortlist this guy. Yes, then uh, it means this team is... Uh, this player is really reliable and he has a good skill. Okay. Let's take a look at our finances <clears throat> before moving forward, and uh, they are fine as well. Okay, let's move on. Our next game is a home one versus the Cambridge, and the opponent is on the seventh position. <clears throat> but I don't think we will have any issues with them because we are playing at home. However, we had a couple of games at home where we had issues. Okay, so Thomas is suspended, so should I select Jones or Greaser? Greaser for sure, and Jones is our last chance <laughs> with his 39H. Okay, what do we have here? We have Sorrel, who is back, so we can put Shoulder on the bench again. And, 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 Jackson played 30 games, uh -huh -huh. 30 games, Rovet, Magdonov, and Rovet played 30 as well. By the way, Rovet managed to score 11 goals while he was mainly a substitute guy, so let's put Rovet instead of Jackson in the top 11. Okay, that's all. Let's go. Home game versus the Cambridge. Uh, they are having the first chance and their score on the sixth minute of the game. And they have another chance in seven minutes. And uh, it's another goal. And we are losing 0 2 on the 13th minute. And uh, first half ends with a surprise result, 0-2, while we had five chances versus the two from them. So Jackson is returning back to the squad because Robert didn't uh, score. And uh, we need to score at least a couple of goals. Cambridge receives a dismissal of the player. And we are scoring a goal by a porter. Our defender scores <coughs> a goal. So we are looking for the second goal because we are playing at home versus the weaker team. And uh, we are place it much higher. So it's a penalty on the 77th minute. Close was uh, having a chance, but he hit the post. It will be a surprise to lose in this game, but such things are happening from time to time. So yeah, 
we managed to lose our first lose in this game. Jackson was unable to save the game for us as well as close, but that's okay. We're having a good handicap. Look at the, the attendance. It's incredibly high. It's a double pity that we lost this game with such high amount of uh, people that came to the stands to watch our game. That things happen from time to time, unfortunately. And that's our first loss in our home games and it's our second loss in the season. What a pity. Okay, let's move on. I'm sure we will win the division anyway, even with such occasional results. Green is out for a six weeks, but we have Robert and Jackson who are ready to play. Our next game is an away one. So Jackson returns back to the main squad. McDonough is also back. Greaser, what was the Greaser result, by the way? He, uh, all team played below normal except Porter and close. Oh, Porter is a midfielder, yeah. Of course he is. So Greaser didn't impress me, and Thomas is getting back into the squad. So next game is an uh, away versus the Hartlepool. Jackson is having his chance in the first minutes but he fails to score and Hartlepool scores a goal. So but that goal is disallowed. Goal is but they're scoring right after that. So is it a dark row of the games that Barnett is having in the middle of the season. Six chances for both of the teams, for each of the teams, but we are losing 0-1. to one. I'm not making any changes so far. I believe that the current squad is really strong, but Hartlepool scores a second goal in the middle of the second half while we are failing to convert our chances. Rovet scores a goal, so it's 2-1. I will replace Jackson and probably Naylor because I need substitutes to swap the game from the awful result and uh, I'm getting another goal, which is not counted because there is a handball. Robert has a second chance, but his shot is saved, so we're trying to get a draw here, attacking a lot, but we are losing 2-1. Two to one. Second loss in the second game in a row, however, we had 11 chances versus 9, and close became a man of the match. So, it's a disappointing result. I totally agree with my board. I have no idea what has changed, but it's a football and such things happen with any team, especially in the football management games. I remember the championship manager 0102 has a built-in uh, function that uh, that in the case if you will use the same tactics for too long, for several months, then uh, the computer will uh, get used to it and will find a way to achieve good results versus your team. So even you have, even if you have the strongest team, then you will lose after a year or even less because uh, the computer will find the key uh, to your tactics, find the way to uh, play against it. I want to change the goalkeeper for the next several games uh, and because I'm not happy with the performance of my goalkeeper in the past two games. 
Uh, what about the other players? Sorrel is injured, so Schouler will play in the main squad. And no chances in the attacking line. Uh, okay. Thomas is out for a few days. And unfortunately, that has happened right when we have to play an away FA Cup game versus the Blackburn. So we're in awful form. We have lost two games in a row. I don't want to <laughs> keep... A reserve goalkeeper in this game despite the pape played poorly in the last couple of games but I'm not ready to risk to risk a lot so we are missing our best defender in this game Thomas is unavailable and we are missing one good midfielder as well and we are missing one forward. So basically, uh, <laughs> we we have one defender, midfielder, and attacker injured for this game. I mean, all of them are part of our main squad. So I hope we will be able to get a good result anyway. At least we will dream to get that result. So they're playing with a direct ball and they have Patrick Anderson, the legendary Sweden goalkeeper, uh, Marcus Henningberg, Colin Henry, their captain, David Batty. This guy <laughs> doesn't need to be presented, however his uh, goal scoring abilities this season are really low. They have Paul Warhurst as well, they have Alan Wright, so this is an awesome team with awesome players. So I'm going to propose a big bonus for the players, but the board refuses, so let's offer them 500. And uh, yes, that's it, that's all I can do. So let's play and hope to get at least a goal. And Robert has his chance on the 6th minute, but he blazes it over. Jackson goes down in the area, but it's not a penalty. What a frustration. We are pushing uh, hard. We are creating chances, but fail to convert it, while Blackburn scored their first goal from the only chance they had. So we are losing at the moment, despite we had five chances versus one, six chances versus one, so Barnett is playing much better than the opponent, but but no luck yet. So the second half has begun. I don't have any good substitutes to be put here, so I hope we will be able to score at least one goal because we're creating so much chances here. We have good players who can score at least one goal. Close Porter, Jackson. By the way, Close got a red card, which is a frustrating, but yeah, the chance is still present. We still can have a goal because it's a football, so it's an injury time and we are losing. A miracle hasn't happened here, but having an eight chances versus five on the way game versus Blackburn was a miracle already. So what do we see here? We see here that the attendance was not too big and the close was the best in our team. And the pape didn't save us and the shoulder played poorly. But I think our board and our fans should be happy to see us getting into the fifth round of the FA Cup. Nicky Evans is wanted by Oxford. I'm happy to get an offer for a transferred listed player. So I'm accepting the minimal 
Oh, not. I'm not accepting the minimal offer because the board refuses. So the tribunal sets the fee at 2k and he joins Grimsby. Perfect. One more free space in our squad. So I will be able to assign at least five players. Of course, if I will have a money for them. What about the money? We have 140,000 of pounds available. So that's great. I don't want to buy anyone because I think that I will have a better selection of the players after I will get a promotion. Or I will be able to buy some good players from the Division 3 when I will be in the Division 2. So we have lost three games in a row. And I plan, <laughs> I expect my team to overcome this bad, uh, bad line of the games. Mm, what about the Thomas is not fully ready yet, but I think he's ready to play. No, let's put Jones instead. I want Jones to play, so Torrell Tor is back, but he's not fit yet. And the Sean is suspended, so McDonough will play instead of him. What about opposition? They are playing on the long ball, so we are ready to play versus that style. Colchester is having their chances again and uh, they are leading so Barnett keeps losing at the moment and we have an injury <laughs> our defender is injured but I didn't have any defender at the moment what a mistake by the way I don't have any goalkeeper as well strange to see that uh, the game didn't uh, warned me that I don't have any goalkeeper substitute selected. So zero goals from the Barnet after the first half. A disgusting result. I have no idea what has happened with my team, but uh, we keep losing. We're missing a second goal. Colchester keeps creating the chances, but Barnet scores a first goal scored by Gary Rowett, so I expect another goal from the Jackson. He is skilled enough to put a goal here as well. So, and let's make Porter. Porter is shown a red card. So we keep collecting the losses, we keep collecting the red cards. Something strange has happened with the Barnet, but that adds interest to the game because it's not too. So we're losing again. Uh, that's not too interesting, not too exciting to win all the time, but when you get such a surprises from your. Uh, team that was winning the games one after another. Robert is man of the game, by the way. Uh, that makes the management of your team much more exciting. Newson, our defender, is out for 12 weeks. That's a problem. So transfer deadline has passed it. We're still 10 points away from the second place. I still do not believe that even our poor performance can uh, lead us to the promotion problems. Oh, the next game is the home one versus the Torque, an excellent opponent to change the opinion of our board and our our players that we are still capable of playing well so 
Jones played poorly in the last game, but we have to put him again. Yeah, he, <laughs> he made an after goal. In addition to his poor performance, he also uh, scored an own goal, but I... No, I don't want to use him because of that after goal. So the Greaser will play here. What about the midfield line? Sorrel is back, so he will play in the midfield. Uh, what do we have here? Long ball. And close is returning back. So, <laughs> so McDonough. McDonough is returning to the bench. However, the Carter played really, really well. So let's, yeah, let's put him on the bench instead. Uh, so, go Barnett. We should win this home game, even uh, though we have a very strong opponent. So, row it listens to my arguments and requests and he scores his first goal at the beginning of the game so robert managed to score several games after i put him in the main 11 and now he proves my words scoring a second goal in the middle of the first half so we are playing just brilliantly having eight chances versus zero with two goals from robert Shovler, however, has the lowest rating, so I will substitute him later, but not now. Torque can hardly sniff, they are not able to create a single chance. So, <clears throat> Jackson, no, not Jackson, let's replace Robert with his high rating, and let's replace Shovler, and Hodel will be our captain. So that's the game of the Barnet. I use it to see in the past episodes. We're having our third chance and the Creaser scores. Our the player who visits the main 11 quite uh, irregularly manages to score a goal and the Klaus is the man of the game despite the Robert had two goals uh, put into the net. The close is the best anyway. And by the way, Carter is having eight. But I don't rely on him too much because uh, he doesn't work to work with me. Attendance is still big. Not so big as a couple of games ago, but it's still much above our average one. So it's good news. An increase of our attendance is a good chance to increase the income to our transfer budget. Oh, I forgot to click. I'm sitting here and waiting for the next screen, but uh, it appears that I forgot to click the button. And the goalkeeper played well, but uh, there were not a single attempt from the opposite side, so I will substitute a goalkeeper in the next game and we'll see if a digweed will play better. Porter is getting back and we are 12 points away. The Turkey was put to the playoffs zone. Oh, Dynamo Kiev is in the Cup Winners Cup as well as the Arsenal. And uh, Dynamo Kiev has won versus the Juventus. What a great result. It will be excellent to see them winning that cup. By the way, Dynamo Kiev has won the cup, uh, that cup, Cup Winners Cup, in the 1986. Yeah, I remember the time. So, good news. Robert is a young player of the month again an excellent chance to become a young player of the season and the nailer become a senior player of the month wow what an excellent news next game is in a way why one versus the brighton so let's let's keep our players in the defense let's 
uh, who was playing badly the shoulder was not too good so let's put Porter back and Nailer will be our substitute wait a second Shoulder was playing badly so Shoulder should be put on the bench and uh, no changes here <laughs> Luke Carter is having an extremely high rating but uh, yeah I will use him because I cannot rely too much on the McDonough by the way it will be great to be able to use these players uh, I mean to promote them into the main team maybe I will have a bigger chances if I will use some of them let's check that out and put Edwards our promising attacker into the main squad and by the way let's put uh, let's swap Digwit with the uh, Pape. Okay, great. Next game is an away one. I hope we will not lose. However, Brighton uh, forces Digweed to miss a goal from the first attack, and they they're having a second attack, and they are scoring a second goal. So looks like the goalkeeper swap was a bad idea however we are not ready to lose the best man of the the best player of the last month's nail or had a good chance but he failed to convert it into the goal but we're having our first goal scored by close at the end of the first half nice news and the close have and close has another chance in four minutes after the first goal but he can't score so good attendance by the way they uh, there are more than six thousands of players ready on, at the game so we are getting our third goal i mean in our net however close uh, is not accepting that and scores a second goal and then close has been injured so I'm putting Edwards back, our youngster. Porter is having a real chance to get a draw, but his shot is saved. Oh, what a pity. But Sorrel is not accepting the loss and scores easily. And we're having a draw five minutes before the end of the game. And is there a, will be any goal? No. It's a 3-3 draw despite we had 15 chances versus the five from the home team. Edwards from the bench didn't uh, play it well, but I can't demand a good result from him because he's a reserve team player. I just wanted to play him in several games and see if that will lead to an appearance of him in the first team at the beginning of the next season Sean Close is out for a few days uh, it's good to see that he's not uh, uh, injured for a longer period of time so what do we see here from the European Cup we see that Dynamo Kiev getting into the next round but Arsenal has lost to Bordeaux unfortunately so no English clubs will be present in the Euro Cups uh, after the week 37 Barnett will play versus the Scunthorpe and as you can see Pape is unhappy after he was put on the bench for the only one game so I will put him back uh, let's put close again uh, not he shouldn't be played under the 10 because he's a three sided so I can use him both on the left side and on the right side and the green is 
green is back but he cannot play the arrow it will play and let's put uh let's put reserve player again yeah as i mentioned i don't believe that will make any impact but i can't remember that i tried that in the past so why not okay Porter is clean through, but he blazes the ball over. But the Barnett scores on the 12th minutes of the game, minute of the game, scored by Porter. Porter gives us a lead. Then Rovet is having another chance. So despite Jackson is unable to score for many games, we have Rovet, another youngster who uh, scores a lot. And then we have an injury for the Sorrel midfielder and we are easily winning so I think I can substitute uh, one of my two youngsters a bit later okay let's swap Jackson with Edwards so Edwards will have enough time to make a goal or get a penalty. Edwards is put in the penalty box and close converts this penalty to a goal. So our youngster Edwards managed to earn a penalty which was converted into the third goal. We have higher attendance so it's been growing up. I'm happy to see that and Pape is having a low rating for some reason despite the Scunthorpe didn't have any chance so have no idea why this happened Close is another man of the game and we are having an excellent Liga position thanks board, I know that so Pape is out for a few days as well as McDonough and Degweed both of our no both no not both sorry two of our goalkeepers are out with injuries but we're having a third one so that's why you need to have three goalkeepers in your team instead of two Phillips that's your chance feel free to use it on Edwards is still part of the main squad so no changes here no changes in the mid midfield as well and uh, one change in the attack line and we should also use some goalkeeper let's use Bizant and Edwards Continental to rare style so in case with Continental we will use a direct ball and by game uh, home team scores on the seventh minute so we are losing but we have Robert who scores a lot so he is having a good chance in the first half but he fails to score the half ends with one nil chester is winning but we have two times more chances oh by the way robert is having a low rating that's probably the result of his missing chance so we have another goal which is disallowed due to a foul and I hope we uh, I will pass in Jackson and I will also replace no I don't want to put shoulder on the field I think my team should score the goal in this squad and I am right Sorrel scores immediately so it's 1-1 Barnett has had more chances than the home team so I think we should win but Chester scores five minutes before the end of the game and it's another lose loss from for the Barnet um, but Sorrel is the man of the game 
so as you can see in the episode 5 of the first season Barnett scored uh, lost <laughs> so much games already it seems like a bad period for us but it's nice to see that we managed to earn so much points in the previous part of the season so we can allow ourselves to lose several games besides that both of our uh, competitors Doncaster and Torquay lost in this uh, week as well so our position is extremely good we are 13 points away and there is only eight games left uh, till the end of this season so let's play one more game Barnett is having a home game versus the Scarborough okay what do we have here this is good this is good green is not ready yet Robert is a bit unfit but I will use him long ball reserves yeah let's play home game which we should win so close dives in the area in the middle of the first half but it's not a penalty so Robert has a real chance he slides it past the keeper and it's one nil then we are having a second goal scored by Jackson who hasn't scored for many tours but Scarborough managed to score one goal back and it's 2-1 after the first half oh look at our attendance it's bigger with each game that's why i think they will like the fact of our reserve player coming into the field uh, so we keep scoring in the second half it's 4-1 already and uh, we have another chances so we are just smashing the opposition so let's put both of youngsters no I can't I can't replace a goalkeeper for some reason I have no idea why is that happening but let's put another players on the field instead okay so we are winning this game it's 4-1 yeah and that's the result of the game Hodu is the man of the match, which is a surprise. Edwards didn't score, but he had quite good rating. And we had 10 chances versus the one. However, the only one attempt of the Scarborough lead to a goal. So our third goalkeeper played poorly this time and the pape gets back okay so let's make a pause let's end this episode we are 15 points away having six games left so uh, two more games and we will win the championship here that was Frozy. Thanks for watching these videos. Please comment on them. I will be happy to hear about your Championship management, Manager 93 experience and subscribe if you like my videos. Thanks and bye!